They caught her, didn't they? Mystery solved. And she's opening and crying. This woke Goldilocks up at once. There were the three bears all staring at her. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Goldilocks was so frightened that she tumbled out of bed and ran to the open window. Mm -hmm. Out she jumped. <laughs> And she ran away as fast as she could, never looking behind her. That's dangerous if you jump out of Yeah, well, she was so scared, she just jumped right out and ran away. It looks like I, she's I okay. Think I think she made she, it. I think she actually went out of bed, not like jumped from the top. I don't know, it looks like she jumped to me. Maybe it wasn't that far of a window to jump down to the ground. But she escaped. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> No one knows what happened to Goldilocks after that. As for the three bears, they never saw her again. Nope. nope. <coughs> the end. The end. Okay, friends. So, that was an awesome story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears is a folk tale. Is it a folk tale? That has some similarities and some differences to other folk tales that we may have read. Um, everybody stand up. Stand up all the way. Good. Um, face the writing table. Wave to it. Face the windows. Wave to it. Face the printing board. Wave to it. Have a seat. Good. Can someone tell me what this is? Uh, the diagram. The diagram. The diagram. The diagram. Good. Okay, kindergartners, your body should be facing this way. You should be ready to look, listen, and learn while we fill out our Venn diagram. Can someone tell me what the first thing I need to do is? Isabella knows. Right. What do I need to write? The title. Should I write it? Should I write the title of the three little pigs here? No. No. Where am I writing the three little pigs? Outside. Good. If, I, if I'm comparing these two stories, Paige and Brooke, you weren't here yesterday, so listen closely. Our Venn diagram is a graphic organizer that compares two things. Haley Ann, take your coat off your head. So, I'm going to write one story here. Three little pigs, and I'm going to write the other story, the one we read today, three bears, they're not all little, so it's just the three bears, the family of the three bears, one of them is little, three bears on this side. Now, one thing that I know about the three little pigs is that they're all little. Right. And, then, and we I, just said that. I know the three, the three bears, <coughs> um, one is small, one is medium, one is big. So, something unique or special or different about the three little pigs is that they are that's all sweet. little. And the pigs. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll write that down too. I'll go ahead and write that. They're all pigs. And the, and the bears are bears. Okay, wait a minute. Let's come over here. In the three bears, Sneha, tell me again. If the three pigs are all little, the three bears are all biggest, biggest to smallest. Biggest to smallest. Well, let's use the same words that they use in the book. How about little, middle, bears, small, medium, and big. Small, medium, and big. What if we use the words that the author used? Little, middle, and great. Do you want to use those words? Little, middle, and great. Little, we, middle, and great. So let's say, let's say, let's say little. Little, comma, middle. Sorry for my friends who can't see behind me. And great. Good. Now what? The three little pigs are all pigs. The three bears are all bears. bears. So far, is there anything that I can write down that's similar? That's 
the same about both stories? Here's what we're going to do. If you're sitting on purple, please face your friends on blue. And if you're sitting on orange, please face your friends on green. Talk about what would be the same, and then we're going to come back and write down some things that are the same. Ready? Go. What is the animal? A wolf. A wolf. There's a bad guy in 
simple stories, isn't there? Okay, who's the bad guy in the three little pigs, Chris J? A wolf. The big bad wolf. Big bad wolf. Dun, dun, dun. Who's the bad guy in the three bears, Paige? Goldilocks. She's, I mean, she's not a really, really, like, bad guy. She doesn't eat the um, bears like the wolf does. She doesn't eat. But she's also not very nice. She's pretty naughty. She's not doing the right thing. She's being a thief. She's not being, like, stealing stuff like that. I agree. I know Goldilocks. Okay. Good. Do this. Do this. Do this. We got one more thing to write. If the big bad wolf is on this side and Goldilocks is on this side, what is the same or similar about both of those? They both things? have something that's bad. They're they both, both have a problem. They both have a problem. They're, they both have a problem. They're, they both have a problem. So let's say they both have bad guys. Can we write that? And they both have to do something. And they can't do they can't do what they want with the um, bear and the pig. Right, Charles, please don't do that. Let's write. They both have a bad guy. I was gonna I was gonna okay. say they both have a happy ending. They both don't have a happy ending. I'm sorry, they were not with the They both do have a happy ending. That's true. Okay, well, we've filled up our Venn diagram. Awesome job, kindergartners. Um, thank you for looking for and listening to the similarities and differences in these two stories. We're going to continue to compare stories in reading using a, what's this called? Venn diagram. Venn diagram for the rest of the week. Yay! Um, I want them to be okay. the rest of our life really good. They both have settings. Oh, they do both have settings? Yes, they do. Do they both have